Hello. <laughs> Not the first time that that's happened. And thank you, Donna, for bringing that to my attention. <laughs> You're awesome. So And so really all that you've missed is, uh, hello, glad to be here. Um, I'm going to be sporting my hats now this year, uh, starting now, because uh, it is the season of the witch. And <laughs> so I'm going to be uh, doing that more often. But this is lovely. I just, it's got feathers and lace, and it's just a lovely hat. And, um, oh, there we go. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah. So, anyway, then, um, you know, we have Sam, Samain, Samhain coming up. Samhain. <laughs> after, uh, in, in October. But right now, it's uh, on the 22nd, it will be the uh, fall equinox. And equal. day will be equal tonight. Mm -hmm. And it's a time for us to find balance for our lives. So if we've been, um, you know, if you're, if you feel overwhelmed, then you need to get rid of some things. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you feel like you're, like you're just drifting, maybe you need to find something to, you know. So, um, you know, we just have to find whatever it is that will balance out our lives. Um, it's important now more than ever mm -hmm. because uh, uh of mercury retrograde mercury it's retrograde. uh it's it's hinders communication and it is um not really a great time to uh embark upon uh signing a contract for a new job um you know and if you do be sure to read the fine print on it because um you know communication is difficult right now for people, a lot of people. And so we want to do some things to help really, you know, uh, increase our understanding of one another and uh, to, you know, read the fine print in any agreement that we're going to get into. So we know that we understand it fully. Take your time. Never get into something that, you know, don't jump into things that are legally binding <laughs> uh, unless you really have taken the time to to look everything over and and really um, make up your mind so never jump into anything legally binding <laughs> that is my best advice and so um, things we should do for the um, the holiday we'll call it we'll call it a holiday it's really more of a astrologic um, occurrence because it, it's a, a lunatic occurrence. <laughs> and so, uh, let's see. Let me just do that. And then I'm going to share my show. Because, I, I, you know, I'd never share the show. Uh, maybe you could do that for me, Sam. Would you do that? Share the show. Okay, yep. Share my show. So, share I think I just want to go here and then go there and go uh, to the, the darn thing here. There we are. All right. It's always so strange, you know, when I see myself go there and go uh, <laughs> to the, the dirt. Uh, it's always strange when I see myself on the phone, on on Facebook, you know, having my doing my thing, you know, with the podcast, and then I look on there and I'm I'm on Facebook. Look, everybody. <laughs> That's your yeah, just go to. Uh, you got to go in the thing, and then you can go right there and share. And then just uh, say, um, oh, you can, mm -hmm. I would say, oh, okay. No, that's not. Oh, I know why, because it's not in my, so I would just go um, share and then you can go, you can share it to a couple groups, like the witch, you know, witches ones. Mm -hmm. The witches like us, <laughs> as they should, because we're witches too. So, um, and I, I firmly believe in witches supporting other witches. And so, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right, 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 and you just, yeah, you just hit share, and it, uh, like, uh, mm -hmm. let's see, uh, witchy pen pals, why not? Oh, no, not mosquitoes. Yeah. Oh, my god, the mosquitoes are terrible here, they're just terrible. And so, then, uh, I would do, uh, they're coming for me. Oh my God! They're gonna carry Sam off here in a little bit. So it's because of metabolism. <laughs> yes, I found that out the other day. If you uh, have a high metabolism, 
you actually would breathe out, you know, in and out more frequently. And so you'll have a higher CO2 uh, coming level. off of you, level coming off of you. And so then the um, mosquitoes are drawn to that. It actually binds to little receptors on their legs and then goes to their brain. They go, ooh, dinner. <laughs> and so then they, uh, they're they actually drawn to Sam. We thought maybe they were and because uh, he's always getting bit. And I'm like, what mosquito? <laughs> so beautiful, man. Uh, yeah. They just like my prettiness. They do. They do. They, they I'm like too to. beautiful for my own good. <laughs> they like to feast on Sam, so. But, you know, who wouldn't, so. <laughs> oh, golly. Okay. So then, the uh, um, oh, we were talking Equinox Celebration. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we're going to clean our altars. Now's a good time for that. And get everything freshened up. And, you know, you can put stuff like apple, you know, an apple on there. Mm -hmm. Or you can put little, those little mini pumpkins or some uh, leaves, you know. Preferably things that you've, you know, picked up in the yard or, you know, at, <clears throat> even like at, you know, the farmer's market or something like, you know, just stuff that you uh, kind of collect on your own. Cause in collecting these things, you know, for our altars or for spells or things like that, it kind of gives us the time to get into that mind frame of, you know, doing a spell or, or just that inner search, you know, of ourselves uh, to say, well, what is it, where do we want to go with this? And where, you know, where are we going in the future and, and how are we going to get there? And just give things that, and you know, that inner thought, uh, um, right now, uh, is a good time for introspective work. So that means that you're just looking inside yourself and finding the things there that you have to use as tools really. And being able to, uh, you know, acknowledge your shadow self and say, it's okay. <laughs> and then also uh, stuff uh, to increase communication, you know, with others, because with Mer Mercury retrograde, it's, things are not, you know, going to be as smooth as usual right now. And it was going on for a long time too. Like what, I think it was six months, something like that. Oh, and acorns. If you find acorns out and about on a walk or in the park or something. Um, those are great for your uh, your uh, altar because they symbolize wisdom and uh, also strength and uh, and give hope. They're uh, like a um, oh potential, yeah, strength and potential, and they symbolize eternal hope that things will uh, you know be stupendous. So great things are about to come. <laughs> yeah yeah and then uh day and night are the same length and that reminds us that balance is essential in our lives and that we have to find that balance in order to be happy and in order to uh be productive and you know get the results from our magic that we want you know mm -hmm. when we're doing things like that so yeah and then I don't know. I just like the, the fact that the acorn symbolizes eternal hope that there's great things to come, I think is, is pretty stupendous. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, just from this little nut. Um, and uh, I found one the other day. So I thought that was pretty cool. So, anyhow, um, let's see. Oh, uh, coming up in September as well, in just a few days, um, is the... Uh, <laughs> I may have to take the hat off. <laughs> we'll see. But coming up in a few days is the um, the new moon, and that's on the 25th. So the equinox is the 22nd. <laughs> the equinox is the 22nd, and then uh, the 25th is the actual new moon. So um, it's within, like, three days, you know, so that, you know, your spell stuff you would start, you know, right around that time. So really it's a powerful time in, uh, in the heavens right now. So it's pretty cool. And then, uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, oh, you can, um, okay. So we were saying, <laughs> we were saying, we were saying setting intentions. So, uh, it's a good time for setting intentions 
getting introspective and looking inside yourself and then also starting new uh, uh, new endeavors. So uh, I'm going to be starting some new endeavors. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, um, then you can get charged for fresh starts um, and because it's Libra season and also the first day of fall. So you want to get, you know, everything kind of ready for that upcoming season and the last two seasons of the year, you know, um, when we're going into winter, you know, it's a good time to, uh, you know, just get things cleaned out and, you know, give to charity. If you got, you know, way too much stuff and you're, you know, we're looking at going into winter and you're going to want to get Christmas stuff out and all that. If you got knickknacks that you just really are had enough of, just you know, throw them in a box and take them to your local free free giveaway. I I really um, uh, you know, the free closets and stuff like that. I, I support them greatly, and there there's one in Buffalo, Iowa, and uh, they're just the nicest people down there. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, anytime I have anybody who needs some clothing, you know, we go down there. But then I'm always taking a boxes and boxes of stuff too because there's just way too much crap around here and so every week i you know take a box leave a box take a box leave a mm-hmm. box but yeah that's how stuff gets rotated around in the house and uh, um and then there's also uh salvation army is a good uh, charity they help a lot of people during times of disaster and uh and loss so they're a good uh, operation too i however would steer clear of goodwill Goodwill, uh, make they make it sound like they're such great altruistic people, but in reality, it's a for-profit organization uh, run by you know a CEO, and it's it's a for-profit company. So you give your stuff to them, they sell it, and they keep your money, and they hardly pay their employees jack squat. So there you go. They're just getting rich off the goodwill of other people. So Amazing. yeah, there you go. And so That's I don't hardcore fat. I don't give anything to Goodwill ever. Never. Not ever. And no. I don't support them in any way. But that's just me, you know. That's just one of my things. And so, uh, but I do go to the Salvation Army thrift stores and uh, and I support them. So um, they're they're a good group. And there's a lot of other thrift stores and that too that uh, and resale shops that could use your support that are local to your area. So. Uh, think yeah, about mine. that. Next time you think about shopping retail, think, could I get this used or secondhand instead? Yeah, you know, mine. and and instead of going and buying a new one, you know, go go get one that's secondhand because you'll be saving the environment. You'll be helping to support a local business and local folks. And, uh, and you'll be um, just so much easier on the environment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Carbon footprint, folks. All right. Anyway, um, so and it's just a good time to think about ecology, too. Uh, you can get out and maybe do a little cleanup of your neighborhood, you know, so uh, get it done before Halloween and all, when all the trick or treaters are out and, you know, wandering the streets of the neighborhood mm-hmm. and, and get things, you know, tidied up that way, too. Um, and then it just uh, that that in itself can help feed clean your spirit. Your local beach. Yeah. Yeah. Clean up your local beach, you know, because mm-hmm. people might not be at the beach as much now and it'd be easier to, you know, get around. <laughs> right, save, save the yep. contamination. So. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, well we could do a whole show on stuff like that. You know, like I just cleaned plastic the beach straws yesterday. and stuff like that. Right. I just cleaned the yeah. beach yesterday for a story. Oh, nice. Right. Nice. That was awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's something you got to keep up with all the time. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. um, and then <clears throat> let's see, um, the spiritual meaning, uh, is, um, oh, uh, oh, uh, finding a happy medium. Oh, there we go. Uh, getting balance as well as going into the next astrologic and meteorologic season. Cause mm-hmm. it's going to be sweat of weather pretty soon. <clears throat> and, uh, <laughs> balance, mm-hmm. justice, and partnership are all good things to find at this time of year. So, and, uh, uh, yeah, it'll be, uh, before you know it, <laughs> before you know it, it's going to be sweater weather. <laughs> what a, what a, I, I did what I wore a sweater the, just the other day. You wore a sweater? I did. I wore it. it I wore my sweater. I did. Too. <laughs> <laughs> and then with, um, there are six 
count them six, six. planets currently in retrograde or Ooh. currently retrograde so there you go that's a lot currently retrograde currently retrograde that's half of yeah, them right i know so look out for confusion and it could um you could be having trouble deciding what to manifest at this time right now uh -oh. um it might be like you just feel kind of you know foggy Ooh, just kind of foggy and like eh, i don't know you Feeling know <laughs> that's kind of, i've been kind of feeling that way a little bit Feeling so uh but then uh and you're you could have amplified emotions which mm. you know no, I'm not going to say anything else. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> and then, um, so, uh, you know, it might be difficult seeing things clearly or, uh, you know, gauging what we really need. So just try and be easy on everybody. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, be concise in your communications with people. Don't leave those gray areas where they go, do they mean this or that, you know? I mean, you could, you're always going to have the overthinkers, but, you know, uh, for the most part, just, you know, take the time to communicate clearly with the fam and stuff, at least. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right on. Um, I'm going to tell you, this is good stuff. Is it, and I'm, I'm Wonder Woman. What so, are you so I know. <laughs> this is, it's a combination of many things and it also has ginger and honey in it mm. yummy but yeah it's I, it's i suppose i shouldn't probably say on tv what it is but mj <laughs> and uh and uh um, jasmine and also uh some green tea and then nice. i put it all uh, uh, together and made sun tea out of it so and, and then it. and then i put ginger and honey in it and mm. so it's good and good for you. And uh, the ja uh, jasmine tea is good for, like, jasmine. you know, relaxation and kind of getting you in a spiritual place. And then it got that you know? vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. And then, so then, um, to you know, walking in the woods, collecting acorns or leaves or whatever, you can uh, find... Uh, Talk, ask yourself what it is that you need to gain balance in your life and you know do you are you feeling overwhelmed do you need to drop some activities or maybe uh you know make um time by um you know not volunteering or not you know helping thing do somebody do something you know i know some people it's like they're always helping somebody do some project and then before you know it, there's just, they don't have any time to do stuff for themselves. Gosh, darn it. Sometimes you just have to say, no, I'm sorry, but I can't do that. Yeah. Wow, wow. yeah. And it does. It's, it's sad, but you know, sometimes you, you have to just make time for yourself wow, wow, wow. and you know, or, or tell the children, I'm sorry, children, but at any time after 10 PM is mom time. <laughs> the kids are all right. Yeah. You're going to so go then, for a kid. Uh, it's, oh, it's also the midpoint of the year. The midpoint of the midpoint year. Midpoint of the year and uh, oh. the first lunation of fall. So now's a good time for new beginnings. Um, things that, you know, you're going to start and like the new moon and all that, you know, all, uh, the, um, and then, but then with the, with Mercury retrograde, you have to be careful about communicating things. So take take time when it comes to big deal communicating things my power. so um, all right uh okay i don't know who that is but they're just gonna have to wait i'm podcasting <laughs> uh yeah well anyway i'm uh sort of podcasting but <laughs> it's more like a visit with friends um i know it's right it's <laughs> uh, um, uh, um, I don't know. Um, well, you got some other hole? Um, 
Yeah, isn't it fun? <laughs> um, fast forward. If you are watching this now, fast forward. <laughs> Through the long pause that is my uh, searching and trying to get things shared and whatnot, and you know. So anyway, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, what the heck? Well, Life so. is for living. And so that being said, I'm going to go here and do that and this and that. Um, there we go. And then I'm going to go there. And then oh, uh, that's right though. It was because it wasn't, uh, I'm in as the Skeleton Key Network. Uh, because yeah. I am a Skeleton Key Witch. And I'm proud to say that, really. That I am a Skeleton Key Witch. And you had, like, the Bitcoin stock and everything on here. The what? It was all in, like, the... Oh, the, the Bitcoin ticker. I don't know. It just... Wow. Yeah, I That's mean, you know, I, I like to keep abreast of what's going on in the That's financial up, world. It's pretty upgraded, though, man. Well, you know, I'm I'm 21st century. I ain't gonna say no more. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a 20th century fox. <laughs> 20th century girl. Yeah, you know, I, I try and keep up to date on things. And I like to, you know, I may not have a horse in the race. But that doesn't mean mm -hmm. that I don't want to watch the race, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's the way I look at it. Um, but yeah, uh, so anyway, for the Equinox, um, we are having a little get together here uh, for the, our church. Uh, we are the uh, Church of the Stewards of the River of Life. And so uh, we're starting the church, uh, you know, and anybody. Who would like to worship with us can it's non-denominational it is uh we are not aggressively seeking members in any way but we reach our hand out to those who maybe feel like they don't belong anywhere else you know like me if you feel like you you know don't quite fit in somewhere like me you can give us a try <laughs> like <me. laughs> because um we're my friend said it best we're the kids at the lunch table away from everyone else that sat, you know, just with each other all the time. You know, the kind of nerdy kids on the outside of the, you know, the popular groups. And we just kind of made our own group. And so we are that group of, uh, you know, the ones kind of on the outside. The group, so the cluster. No. But we're, you know, I think uh, it, it's all about um, knowing who you are. And uh, and loving other humans and <laughs> and to wanting me. to you know be the stewards of uh, you know the planet. You got to love like the little specifically. Bite. You have to um, you know take care of this place for the uh, next generation because frankly it doesn't belong to us. It belongs to them. It belongs to grandchildren, great grandchildren. You know, cat. on down the. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Like, on, on down dude. the line because uh you know we we don't own the planet and and we shouldn't think that it's okay to ruin it for everyone else so i think we really have to be conscientious bob is stretched out to about um i don't know four feet at least i think from tip to tail and he is just like completely stretched out he got his leg all on me and yeah and he's all <laughs> Just took over like He's half very of comfortable side. with Sam, I think, at this point. So he took over half the side of the bed. I know, right? Yeah. He's like a baby. Bob <laughs> is just so incredibly uh he's in tune with uh <laughs> he's just so incredibly in tune with me. I love Bob. And so uh yeah, he's my familiar. I love Bob too. We love some Bob. Mm -hmm. Bob's a great guy. Bob um, Marley Man. You know, <laughs> I think I think Bob the cat was involved with the Mexican mob, but uh, I don't say too much because I don't want him to know that he's here. <laughs> That's a big old cat food. Huh? Those, Those are, are huge, bass. man. Huge. Are bass? No, they're not bass deer. Catties? Catfish. 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 Okay, well, there you are. Um, Looks like spankings will be in order. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, I 
would do if anyone would like a reading <laughs> there's no one out there um uh, i would be glad to do tarot readings as well so should anyone come on <laughs> maybe i should make a quick banner with that on it uh let's see uh, i'll do the uh create a banner Dig it, banner 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 Every single Chevy with the butterfly goes got the stuff in the hand and put it in the air. <laughs> I was giving you an image. You're, <laughs> you're gonna give you're gonna get me copyright infringement is <laughs> they're gonna hold me up now because uh, I'm I'm having some copyright. No, only, sam issues. only had a little snippet sample. It was no copyright. It okay. was under it was under the All right, snippet. I think you're gonna have to answer the door. Okay. Yeah, I think you might you might recognize the person who comes in. Maybe I don't know. Could that be a uh, jet ski? No. A uh, jet ski. No. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. It doesn't matter. I don't know. Maybe okay. I. Maybe he won't. I don't know. It's up to him. So anyway, uh, <laughs> this is once again a crazy time at Mayhem Matter. Because uh, not only are we doing, um, not only are we doing uh, some big stuff uh, with the uh, the church and that, and uh, we're having a, our uh, autumnal equinox festival or celebration, and so uh, we'll have uh, some pumpkin cake. <laughs> there goes Bob. We're gonna have pumpkin cake, and we're gonna have hot cocoa. We're gonna start a humongous bonfire. And we are going to uh, call upon the gods and goddesses uh, that uh, that we love and know and love, <laughs> and uh, just ask them to be kind to us and give us uh, abundance uh, uh, through uh, the winter and uh, carry us over until it is glorious spring once again. So that's what we're hoping for. <laughs> And uh, let's see, we'll go back to comments. So, so if anyone would like a free tarot reading, uh, and you tune when you tune in, I will be glad to give you one. So, um, just so you know, all righty. So, then, um, following the equinox celebration, uh, we'll be doing the um, the ghost hunt, the uh, national ghost hunt, which you know. I think we're going to do it a little bit more loosely than um, we were going to do it before. Um, I think we'll just, uh, you know, set some stuff up. And uh, I don't think anybody's actually going <laughs> to come to join us other than just, you know, us. Probably, uh, you know, me and Sam and Dylan. And, and we'll hang out and, uh, you know, eat some snacks and uh, listen for things. And... Um, just uh you know put some salt piles out and <laughs> see if we can you know get some some uh, uh spirits to come and visit us uh, i'm always open for it you know it's like come visit i, I love it <laughs> and uh i i just um i feel very prepared to visit with spirits i i've been kind of prepping for this moment for a long time and so uh I'm ready to like make like I, what I would consider legit, you know, contact with spirits. Um, I haven't really, I don't think, I mean, maybe I did maybe think one day I, I heard my mother's voice, but you have to question yourself and say, was it really my mother's voice or was it me imagining it? Cause I can still hear her voice in my head, you know, um, clear as anything. So it could be imagination. It could have really been her whispering to me, you know. So. Um, I'm podcasting at the moment. <laughs> Funny. You know, it's just, uh, uh, things are so busy around here all the time. 
and uh, uh, this week is especially busy. And next week, probably more of the same. <laughs> We're hustling and bustling and trying to get things ready for winter, you know. Uh, it's coming. Da, da, da. And uh, so I like to have things all tidied up and everything done and, you know, all the stuff pulled in and put away. And, you know, uh, my kayak. We're going to hang the kayak. Um Oh, you know, I, all I can say is it's never a bad time for a spanking. Is it really? Is it ever a bad time for a spanking? Question mark. Honestly. <laughs> but, um, no, uh, in, in fall, you want to, like, you know, beat your rugs. <laughs> Give them a good spanking. Uh, and, you know, take them all outside. And I have a, an official rug beater. And so, uh, yeah, I put them out on the line and I beat the crap out of them. Much like these subs, if they don't like me to, if they don't want, <laughs> if they, uh, uh, you know, start to, you know, get on my nerves. <laughs> uh, like this one here. And so, anyway, um, fall equinox, we, we talked about, you know, cleaning out and getting rid of things and, you know, just uh, like it's uh, it'd be good to uh, also uh, letting go, you know, of like uh, any old, you know, feelings or whatever that you had that were not currently serving you. You know, anything that's not currently serving you really should get out of your life. You know, uh, you just don't have room for that sort of thing. And, uh, um, you know, when you do that, it makes room for good things the things that you want in your life. <laughs> so, yeah, that's always uh, the way to go with it. And um, then, uh, let's see, we talked about all the planets in, uh, that are retrograde at this time. And that uh, retrograde Mercury causes confusion. Um, and so then, uh, uh, yeah, we're stewards of the River of Life Church. And uh, um, we met last night to have a, a, you know, for our uh, food and fellowship night. <laughs> and, uh, um, and we got some, you know, planning done for the, uh, the Equinox celebration. And, um, and then, you know, you know, bobbing for apples sounds really fun. <laughs> I couldn't even tell you the last time I bobbed for an apple. I mean, gosh, that sounds fun, doesn't it? I always remember there always had to be one in every crowd. Someone who'd come up behind and kind of push somebody's head down into the bobbing, t you know, tank. And you always had to tell them, you know, tell them ahead of time, mm, that's not allowed. Because <laughs> you knew someone would do it. Some some boy, inevitably, was going to do that. So, but yeah, I like, I like to bob for apples. And, uh, you know, just all those fall things. And I have uh, done a lot in the garage already with, uh, you know, some decorations and stuff like that. You know, I realize it's early, but, you know, can you ever decorate too early for Halloween? It's my favorite, my favorite holiday. You got to get on that stuff early. So then anyway, the uh, new moon, there was a new moon ritual I was going to share with you. And that is in uh, right here. It's over here, over here, over here, right here. Okay, so, oh, these are things that you can do. Uh, oh, feast on apples, of course, and that's always good. And uh, use them in your, uh, you know, on your altar and then, you know, spell things. And then, uh, but be sure uh, uh, to offer some to the goddess. And uh, then uh, you can um, visit your ancestors' graves at this time. And put some fall uh, flowers on there. Um, Japan marks the equinoxes with a period called Oigan. Oigan. Uh, and the, the Buddhist belief is that the land of the afterlife is due west. And during the equinoxes, the sun sets directly west. So they're symbolic of the transitions of life. So uh, go spruce up their grave before winter. Uh, a little bit for fall, you know, and um, and then you you can commune with the ancestors, and uh, you know, 
wish him a happy fall. <laughs> but um, yeah, hopefully I'll communicate with ancestors sometime soon. That would be really nice. Uh, you can make moon cakes. Uh, they're uh, uh, from Vietnam and China. They call it the Moon Festival. And then um, it's uh, the 15th day of the eighth lunar month. So you gaze at the moon, eat moon cakes. Uh, oh, moon pies. Okay. So that's what they, uh, the moon pies down south in, uh, in uh, New Orleans. That's, uh, you should have, have a moon pie. I love that. They threw them out uh, in little wrapped, you know, things out. And we watched the parades and they would throw the moon pies out. So that was great. I think I'm getting a mosquito bite. Okay. All righty. So then anyway, <coughs> uh, the moon pies. Yeah, they were good. Um, <laughs> and uh, I wish I had one right now. That would be just wonderful. So uh, eat nuts and goose. Well, I think I'm going to skip the goose, but I, I would probably eat some nuts. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So then... Uh, they celebrate the archangels uh, at this time of year. Uh, the Feast of the Angels is September 29th. So um, that's uh, for, for Christians. So it's the Christian version of the equinox <laughs> celebration. So, and uh, in England, it was a time of transition. Um, and, you know, it just makes sense. The seasons are changing and, you know, uh, then they, um, you know, you just want to like, just make changes and uh and then the fat and goose that's funny it's fall you don't want to feed that thing into the winter you know you gotta kill it now and eat it because it's nice and fat and tasty <laughs> so neo druids and other pagans gather at stonehenge to watch the sunrise on the autumnal equinox now that is something i would love to do one year um, I think that would just be an excellent goal to make for myself that, uh, you know, in five years, I'd like to be at Stonehenge uh, on the autumnal equinox watching the sunrise. That would be great. <laughs> mm -hmm. Excellent. So, and then uh, watch a shadowy snake appear at a Mayan temple on the autumnal equinox. Oh, the way the shadow falls on the, the, the temple, the pyramid. Mm -hmm. Nice. According to legend, a feathered serpent deity named Kukulkan visits the Mayan city of Chichen, Chichen Itza every equinox on both vernal and autumnal. Crowds gather to watch as a snake-like shadow slides down the god's namesake uh, pyramid. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, uh, so people all over the world are celebrating the autumnal equinox in different ways. And uh, um, we are no different and are going to celebrate it here, too. And um, I would encourage all of you to make your own uh, traditions and, um, and make your own autumnal equinox celebration. And do whatever it is you like. Uh, a lot of people, uh, this is the time of year, they'll, they'll go to the apple orchard or they'll go someplace like that. Um, Oh, Jesus, Lord. Um, can you go to the door, please, honey? Okay. Thank you. I turned the light on. <laughs> I was outside. I believe in blue bubbles. Okay. I even blew bubbles. Nice. <laughs> Bubble blowing. You know, and that's another good thing you can do to uh, oh, to celebrate bubbles. to celebrate the autumnal equinox. Blow some bubbles. Why not? And um, blow some bubbles. Eat some apple, uh, you know, apple crisp, have some apple cider <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, go pumpkin it to the pumpkin patch, you know, uh, go to the apple orchard, um, get outside, go to the farmer's market, um, anything, you know, just go out in your yard and, and um, take your shoes off before it's too cold and walk through the grass, at, you know, before it's all brown and dead and just uh feel that energy surge through you and into uh okay 
Okay. Um, <laughs> and, and feel that energy surge into you as you enjoy the changing of the seasons and the changing of uh, our environment. And, uh, <laughs> and we look, look forward to, um, you know, the coming upcoming season of introspection we'll call winter. <laughs> so anyway, um, I have to go now. And uh, I think that uh, I have imparted all the information about the autumnal equinox that I could possibly do right now. And I just, I love that you guys tune in to see me and I would love it if you would tune in and also uh, see me on Wednesday for uh, Madam After Dark. And uh, Madam After Dark will be on at 10 o'clock on Wednesday. And this Wednesday, I'm lucky enough that I'll have back again my rope bunny, Brian. <laughs> so he'll be back. And uh, I'm very excited to have him as my guest again. So tune into YouTube for that one. And uh, I would say to you, good night and blessed be. And uh, happy autumnal equinox. Peace out.